Are you ready for the next big thing from Sony? We sure are. Let's dive into everything we know so far about the highly anticipated Sony Xperia 1 5. Sony's been a major player in the smartphone market for years, and their Xperia 1 series has been a fan favorite since its introduction in 2019. With rumors swirling about a potential Xperia 1 5 release in the near future, tech enthusiasts everywhere are eagerly anticipating what Sony has in store for their latest flagship device. Now, let's take a closer look at what we can expect from the Xperia 1 5. As with previous releases, Sony has been known to keep us waiting for quite some time. While the company tends to unveil their Xperia 1 series handsets at various times throughout the year, the release dates can be a bit unpredictable. For example, the Xperia 1 5 was released in some countries just under a month after its reveal, but it didn't make its way to the US until September 1st. The Xperia 1 3 was announced in April 2021, but didn't land in the US until August 19th of the same year. So, what does this mean for the Xperia 1 5 release date? Given Sony's track record, we can expect a similar wait time for the Xperia 1 5. While we're already well into quarter 2 of 2023, we may not see the device hit store shelves until June or even later. Of course, this could all change at any moment, so we'll be keeping a close eye on any updates from Sony. In the meantime, we'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and wait patiently for the Xperia 1 5's official release date. Specs of Xperia 1 5 while we're eagerly awaiting the release of the Sony Xperia 1 5 and we're hoping it will pack a punch in terms of features and specs, from what we know so far, the phone looks set to continue the Xperia 1 series tradition of offering cutting-edge technology. One of the standout features of the Xperia 1 4 was its 4K 120Hz OLED screen, and we're pretty confident that this feature will make a return on the Xperia 1 5. This means you'll be able to enjoy crystal clear, high-quality visuals on your phone. However, we're hoping that Sony will address one of the Xperia 1 4's shortcomings and give the Xperia 1 5 a dynamic refresh rate. This will enable the phone to automatically adjust the refresh rate as needed, which is something that many other high-end smartphones already offer. When it comes to performance, the Xperia 1 5 is likely to be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. We're hoping that the phone will offer improved sustained performance compared to the Xperia 1 4, which struggled with this issue. But let's talk about one of the most exciting aspects of any Sony smartphone, the camera. Sony has a reputation for delivering some of the best camera experiences on the market, and we're expecting the Xperia 1 5 to continue this trend. While we don't yet have official confirmation of the camera specs, rumors suggest that the phone will feature a triple 12 megapixel camera system with a variable periscope camera. This will enable continuous zooming from 4 times to 9 times, which is a feature that would make the phone stand out from its competitors. Of course, we're also hoping that Sony will bring back its Pro Camera apps, which were a highlight of previous Xperia flagships. Finally, we're expecting the Xperia 1 5 to feature a large battery, great audio, wireless charging, and IP68 rating, just like its predecessors. With these features and specs, the Xperia 1 5 looks set to be one of the most impressive smartphones of the year. And speaking of battery, let's take a look at the rumored battery life of Xperia 1 5. It's the question on everyone's mind. Will the Xperia 1 5 have a bigger battery than its predecessors? Well, according to the rumors, it looks like Sony is sticking with the tried and true 5000 mAh battery capacity. Now, some of you might be thinking, come on, Sony, give us something new. But hey, let's not forget that a 5000 mAh battery is nothing to scoff at. It's pretty much the industry standard for flagship phones these days, and we have to admit that Sony has been steadily increasing the battery capacity of its Xperia 1 line. Of course, we wouldn't say no to a slight bump in battery capacity, maybe a 50 to 100 mAh increase. But we don't want to get too greedy here. Let's not forget that all Xperia 1 phones come with wireless charging so we don't have to worry about being tethered to a charging cable all day. What we would like to see, though, is a faster charging speed. The Xperia 1 4 supports only 30-watt wired charging, which is decent, but not exactly mind-blowing, with the competition, including the Galaxy S Ultra series, offering faster charging speeds, we think Sony should step up its game a bit. All in all, we're pretty happy with the rumored battery capacity of the Xperia 1 5, and who knows? Maybe Sony has a few tricks up its sleeve that will make the battery life even better than we're expecting. Just have to wait and see. Price of Sony Xperia 1 5 
Okay, so let's talk about the Sony Xperia 1 5 price. Get ready to say goodbye to your savings because it looks like this phone's going to cost a fortune. I mean, just take a look at the price trend of the previous Xperia 1 models and you'll see what we mean. It's like Sony's trying to outdo itself each year with an even higher price tag. If we're being honest, we wouldn't be surprised if the Xperia 1 5 cost more than the Xperia 1 4, which was already an eye-watering $1,600. Yikes! We're not saying you need to start selling your organs just yet, but you might want to start saving up if you're really keen on buying the Xperia 1 5. But hey, let's not get too discouraged just yet. If Sony manages to improve where it went wrong with last year's phone, then the price might be worth it. After all, we're expecting top-of-the-line specs like a 4K 120Hz OLED screen, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, and a triple 12 megapixel camera system with pro camera apps. Plus, we'll likely see features like wireless charging, great audio, and an IP68 rating make a comeback. Sure, the price might seem a bit steep, but sometimes you have to pay for quality. And let's be real, if you're the kind of person who wants a Sony Xperia 1 5, you're probably not too worried about the price tag. After all, if you're going to spend that much money, you might as well do it on something that's going to be the best of the best. What we want to see While we're pretty sure that this phone will be pricey, we're still hoping to see some improvements in certain areas. Here's what we want to see from the Xperia 1 5. First and foremost, we want Sony to step up its game when it comes to software updates. The Xperia 1 4 only received two major OS updates and three years of security patches. That's just not good enough when you consider the cost of this phone. We're hoping that Sony will finally give us a long-term update pledge with the Xperia 1 5. We want to see the phone getting regular updates for at least four years. Is that too much to ask for? Now let's talk about the camera. The variable telephoto camera on the Xperia 1 3 was pretty impressive, but the zoom range was a bit limited. Sony fixed this with the Xperia 1 4, but we think there's still room for improvement. We'd love to see a wider zoom range, something like 9 times or even 10 times optical zoom. This would really give the Galaxy Ultra range a run for its money when it comes to long range zoom. But why stop there? We'd also like to see Sony improve the main camera on the Xperia 1 5. We're talking about better low light performance, improved dynamic range, and faster autofocus. We know Sony is capable of delivering amazing camera performance, just look at its alpha cameras. So we're hoping to see some of that expertise trickle down to the Xperia lineup. There are other areas where Sony could improve the Xperia 1 5, like battery life and display brightness, but we think these two improvements would make a huge difference. So come on Sony, give us what we want! And that's a wrap on everything we know so far about the Sony Xperia 1 5. From its rumored battery capacity to the long-term update pledge we hope to see, there's a lot to look forward to with this flagship phone. Of course, we're still waiting for an official announcement from Sony, but we'll be sure to keep you updated on any new information. In the meantime, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future updates.